as for how to use Excel to solve KT problems as well as the meaning of the multiplier. So we're going to take problem number three here, which is computing the maximum of the product of SY subject to these two restrictions, which you have as a homework. Exam Y are not negative. So let's see how we set up all this in Excel. So let's see here is Excel. Let me put the names of the variables x and y and give them some initial values, for example 0 and 0. Now remember, let me show it to you, that we have the product to be maximum and x plus y at most 100 and x at most 40 and both of them are non-negative. So here I put x plus y and that's only for me to remember what do I want. Here I want to be the value of x plus the value of y, so equals to the value of x plus the value of y. Okay, the next thing x, so I simply put here equals to, don't forget equal to the value of x. And just for me to remember, I want the maximum value of this to be 100 and the maximum value of x to be 40. Perfect. Here is the function I want to optimize. The function is the product of x times y. So equal first, then click on the x times y. Yeah. And now we go to solver. Now we're going to solve. Okay, so I have something from some previous values. Let me delete all this to start off first. And explain to you. Here we put the function we want to maximize or minimize. So we can click here and this is the function. So it tells me I want to, in problem 3 is the number of the Excel sheet, I want to optimize the cell B7. Now, I want to do a maximum in this case, it could be minimal, or could be the value x exact equal to. And what are the variables I want to change? So are x and y, don't put the names x and y in column A, and write it in B value of x and the value of y. Okay, let's add some conditions. The conditions are that less than, greater than, equals to, but first let's choose. What do we want? x plus y. So we took, take here the cell where the value, not the expression, is less than or equal to, here I could put a hundred, but if I put a hundred and later I want to change it to something else, I'll have to change the conditions, so rather I put here, go to 100. And this tells me the cell B4, which is the one that contains the value of x plus y, has to be at most 100. Add one more, okay, I'm sorry, like say okay, add one more here, x is at most the value of this cell, which is 40. Okay, and remember, we have that the values of x and y are not negative, but that's automatically done by Excel here. Make variables non negative. Okay, let's go and solve it. It's taking time because Excel is trying to compute the solution, but it come up with something. Hopefully. Maybe I click on the close. Okay, solve. Yeah, I did a mistake. Okay, so here we're waiting for the solution of solver. It has stopped, so probably if I found a solution, it say keep solver solution. So we'll keep it, and something went wrong. We started with x0, y0, and tells me that's the maximum of x times y, which is not the case. We know that's not the maximum. So what happens is sometimes in solver, if you stand a very particular point like x, y equals to zero, which is some local minimum, then solver doesn't work. So we check this, one, one, no problem. Go back to solver, solve it. We wait for the solution to come. Stop, so something is coming. And it tells me, that has found a solution. Good. Keep solver solution means put the solution in the Excel file. And let me write off the report.
for sensitivity, so I'll explain to you what that is. So it has found the solution is X40, Y60, with a total of 2,400. Let's check it out in our Excel. The solution set, which I have uploaded for you, this is number three, and we got the solution of here, this is done, Q, X40, Y60, with a maximum of 2,400, which is exactly what we have here. Perfect. Now let's check what this sensitivity report is about. Increase a little bit of font size. Okay, so it does. We have two conditions: x plus y at most 40, and then 100, sorry, and x at most 40. And this multiplier says how much the function's maximum value will change if we change the condition by one unit. This means if instead of 100 like there, we have 101 the function will increase by 40. Instead of x less than or equal to 40, we put x less than or equal to 41, the function should be increased by 20, approximately. So remember, if we change x from 40 to 41, our function should change from 2400 to 2420, approximately. So let's check it here. Let's put 41. Fine. Let's go to solver. Solving. I don't need to check anything in the conditions because the conditions refer to cells, not to values. We solve it 20 more approximately because of the report, sensitivity report and the multiplier. So it has to stop something with found. It's as we need solver, keep the solver solution. Yes, I want to check it. And see, the new solution 4115 and the value of the function is 2000. 419. Earlier it was 2400 and the sensitivity report here it says for this it will increase by 40 so actually increases by 19 which is good enough. Similarly instead of 100 I put 101 it will increase by 40. You can check that approximately sometimes sometimes exactly by 40. Okay so this is the meaning of the multiplier how do you solve it to solve an equation with it's a one-eye question on the optimization problem. And that's enough for today.